Hi, my name is Blade from Blade Productions and today I'm informing you about a basic D5 Centurion gate motor PC board. Uh, basically what we're trying to achieve in this session is to show you all the ins and outs and the basics of this PC board, uh, informing you what is on the PC board so you as a DIY homeowner can do it yourself. And as you know callouts today is quite expensive to get a qualified technician out to your place. Basically what we're trying to achieve is to inform you in the next couple of sessions exactly what we're going to do and how to program it. But today's session is only going to tell you about the basic PC board. Alright, let's start. Uh, you've got a D5 version 1.073 microprocessor that basically keeps up all your programming that is needed. You've got uh, a couple of fuses as you can see you've got two relays that's for your no uh, open and your close you got a couple of diets and you got a heat shrink you got lightning arresters and a couple of other little things that is not really equivalent to what you as a DIY owner needs to know right this is your motor fuse most obvious reason for your motor not working is either your battery is getting low or exhausted, depleted, uh, your battery is out of the range of the average lifespan, or your motor fuse is blown. Let me just pick this PC board up here. You can see there is your hybrid fuse that powers your relays. So if you do open your gate motor and you hear your motor says click, 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 you know that that fuse is blown 90% of the time. You got your general PC board fuse. That fuse is just to power your whole PC board. So if you get to the gate motor, you open it and you see that your whole motor is dead. Check your fuse or your power supply. That little terminal plug there is your power supply input from your transformer, normally sitting underneath your PC board. And you got another fuse up here. If that fuse is blown, don't replace it with this fuse. Don't replace it with that fuse. Each fuse has its own value. Try and stick to the value of the fuse. That is only your light fuse for your light pedestrian output. So if you use lights, pillar lights, any type of lights in your yard and you want to switch it on via your Centurion gate motor, you can connect it there to a negative or a neutral, sorry, a neutral power and you can basically switch it. Right, that's today's basic introduction to the D5 Centurion, much similar to the D3 Centurion. Uh, there's a couple of little small things that might differ on the programming, but that will do in the next session. Right guys, enjoy your fault finding.